said no to you twice. I'm not going to play. I, it's, it's, I said no to you twice. <laughs> Let so, me, I, no, I'm sorry, we're done. Yeah, so wait, that's your cure? How many, they don't test how many, how many infections are there? Yeah. You, 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 I, you, 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 you asked the handful of people here by hands, by hands, how many people One. Test safer with the test? What? Wait a minute. I, 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 yes. 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 That's them. fantastic. Good for them. <laughs> okay. Okay, I have this to say about this meeting. Yes, thank you. It's over. Because we are trying to work with this industry, with you people, with everybody, with the people who aren't here, to try to get a standard that works better for your industry. What my ability to what? Stop it! Stop it! Stop yelling! There are 80 people in this room, and I can't deal with every one of you. And if people have come here to disrupt the meeting, good for you because we will call it over. We are here to have a rational discussion about how we can protect people in this industry. I don't want to be baited. I don't want to be misquoted. I don't want a bunch of people yelling at me because I'm just a person making a salary. Okay? I care about this industry. Shut up. I care about this industry. I care about every single one of you. I care about you as performers, as people, as the public of California. I stop it. Stop it. I really encourage all of you to show up because if you don't show up speaking for yourself, Shelly Lubin's going to be speaking. Amen. You know, and my, my thing is, why is it when we always have these Kalosha meetings too, why aren't the workers showing up? You know, why is it the people who represent the producers showing up? You know, that's what I want to know. Wow, it's gotten so violent, you know. So um, now it's out of control. I mean, you can go online and go click on a porn and, and the evidence is right there. It's all video. It's on video. I loved when Michael Meinstein brought all the DVDs and said the evidence of their... Uh, you know, lack of cooperation with the law is right on video. I mean, you can see it. If you right now put condoms on the, a whole adult film industry, well, first of all, they're not going to do it because we're talking about the money, okay? This is a billion dollar industry. The straight industry makes a lot of money. Porn is everywhere, as we know. Think about how dirty that porn set is in a private location on a mostly male set. My heart is, is breaking for these people. I, I knew in my heart there's a bunch of people like me out there. Most of the girls are young girls, um, you know, around, not, what, 20, 21 years old. Um, they don't know how to read contracts. Really going on AIM. And it turns out that um, tests become very unreliable um, very quickly when you have multiple partners on and off the set, and that includes prostitution. Porn stars are prostitutes. Also, the porn industry currently offers a false sense of security to all of the adult film workers. The majority of adult film workers test at AIM, right here in the uh, San Fernando Valley. And Dr. Sharon Mitchell, who's a former porn actress and stated doctor, states emphatically, we keep the adult entertainment industry safe. My name is Dr. Sharon Mitchell. I was in the adult entertainment industry 25 years as an actress, dancer, producer, director, and, and then I got my doctorate, um, and I founded the Adult Industry Medical Healthcare Foundation in 1998, and since then uh, we have done over 250,000 HIV tests. We're the largest uh, early detection HIV testing facility in the country, and we keep the adult entertainment industry safe. In the porn industry, you're pretty young, like 18 to 21, and the men that are getting you in there are like 40 to 80. So it's easy for them to make you accept ideas that you wouldn't have accepted from somebody your age. It's about money. Uh, the distributors can only distribute to so many countries if there's a condom on. And as we said over and over again, the law right now is that if you're going to make an adult film and do the things people do in adult films, you're required to use barrier for protection. If you're employees. Let me finish. <laughs> Thanks a lot. But don't do it again. Seriously, it's rude. But that's the law. And I'm required, I'm obligated to enforce the law. 
Right now, the law is law. Shut down the adult film industry until it is in compliance with all laws, just like any other workplace in California. The law is the law. Existing California law already requires condom use in adult film production.